Hi guys, I was actually making a video for Wayfire and actually for Waybar because Waybar works just anywhere on Wayland and I was lucky, it sometimes happens that you find something online that you say this looks good. Hyperland Dots is what I've git cloned from the internet from Jacoulet, so I'll keep this readme in there. You can see and get the code from there and then you decide what you do in here is the dot config and there's lots of things in here and also the wall maybe that will explore later on anyway we have waybar and we have here this this and this everything okay and i was recording which is not and there was no output from that particular video but I was working on it and I couldn't get it because this was empty, that was empty. And here is all the content. So I happened to come across a website with 24 themes, styles. And also 20, no, not 24, let's see. 23 modules, bots is bottom, top eh? and left and so on. What I've done is taking a look at what's in here and we have an extra theme <laughs> obviously the one you're looking at is one of those themes and i got an idea I said look we switch around in on in the waybar department right cw we switch around in this one and that's the new guy what if i make the same thing to switch around in CSS. And for those who know websites and CSS and all that, they probably know already the website CSS Garden, right? It's a website you can visit. It's the exact same content, but each time with a different CSS. And each time this same modules look different. And that's what I've done. I said, look, that's a good idea. That's another what if. What if I create a CSS button, which is going to check out 25 of these guys. So each one of them, this is the original one. That's not going to work. You have to do a little bit of work in there. So this is the alt bar, the way bar alt eight. When I choose this one, that's the first thing you need to do. This is the only one with all the CSS. So better change this already for you guys. In the binary, there is now a change waybar wayfire and change waybar wayfire CSS. It might be a good idea to tell you that, no, not that one. Let's kill everything, otherwise it will be too complex. Close without saving, well, this one is the one with all the CSS options. Yeah. Let's just call it options. Save. So when I give you later on this particular setup, it says waybar old eight options. Click. So when you choose this one, this is the default. And I am giving it you to you now like this because it's still more or less the same theme and style as the author intended but I'm gonna change it right so if you want to keep close to what I have and then do your own thing with it then this is the time to just copy paste and say I'm gonna put this code safe somewhere else so I can always go back to it so in only this one that's important for you to know right this one is this look this code and so on it's only this one with all the options that this button exists, this module exists. And with this module, a click goes to that particular file. And now we can have a look. So this is not my style, not my creation. And like I said, I'll probably make my own selection up here of the modules later on and my own coloring. But for now, it's still pretty much close to the original designer. One of the first things that needs to go is a little penguin. I'm a fan of the little penguin, but it's a little bit small. 
I do like the icon down here to close everything. But is it closing, right? Is it closing? It's not doing anything. This works and it's this look. Do want to keep this look. So I'm going to change things. But just showing you the power of Yat, right? And if you have an idea like that, you just copy paste what I have done. And there you go. At least everything is working. That's a strange look. So I'll have to investigate that one. Some module that's not providing any information, something like that. And now I've decided to put everything at the top, but I can decide to put some my, the, the modules at the bottom. So <laughs> I don't know where this ends in, to, in the end of 2024, right? It will change. And these two are still the same. So this is sort of, a, I'll see what I'll do with it kind of thing. And this is back to the default. So this is what I would like to have as default with maybe some other color changing this little bit bigger and so on but pretty much the way i like it so voila and all thanks to one person who made lots and lots of changes lots of uh, creative designs and um, i'm gonna share it with you in the next update people seem to have issues problems with getting the new stuff in it's always the same. Either you scale and all problems are solved or you have seen what is needed. That one is needed. That one is needed, right? And the one that's needed as well is way bar, way, sorry, way fire. All of it, if you change a lot of things, you just do control C, control V. You call this guy mine. That's my name. I think always on about Near more than mine, 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 right? And then you do the following compare later on. And if there are changes, you just want to see this, the sim, the, the different things, right? And then you see all the changes and you put them back. Simple as that. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna make a package and it's gonna go in your ETC scale. That's where it's gonna go. Cheers.